With the average number of hurricanes each year increase and insurance rates through the roof, we are all looking for a way to keep our homes safe. To get some advice on this, I traveled to Bay St. Louis, Mississippi to talk to this man, Josh Morgerman. He's been in the eye of 70 hurricanes, more than any human alive. Decided to build a house here. Uh, one issue here is that this is, this is ground zero for some of the greatest hurricane disasters in American history, like Hurricane Katrina, like Category 5 Hurricane Camille. So I was like, all right, if I'm going to build a home here, it has to be designed and built right. It has to be hurricane tough. So this is a special house that I built. Now, it looks very traditional. It looks like a, you know, t a typical kind of old southern home. That's the style of it. It's a shotgun house, but there's a lot going on in these walls to make this a fortified gold home, to make this absolutely rock solid. This place is a vault. This has to do with bringing an inspector in to monitor the building of the home. And the way it works is you, as you're building the house, you have a, a third party evaluator work with you and guide you along the process as you're building. So they look at what you're doing and they give you and your builder certain sort of like suggestions or things they want you to do to reinforce connection points and things like that. You do all the things they ask and then you get a certificate that says your home is fortified gold. That certificate lowers your insurance rates considerably and it gives you peace of mind. You know, your house is not going to blow down in high winds. But not everybody is building a brand new home. So what are some things that a homeowner can do to hurricane proof their existing house? I mean, the roof is one of the most important things because if the roof rips off, it's game over, okay? But if it stays on, you'll probably be okay. So is it old? Do you need to re-roof? Now, if you can swing it, the best kind of roof is a standing seam metal roof. That's the kind that you want. Those are the kinds that you have in places that get crazy hurricane winds. Next thing I'll say is, how are your windows? Are they impact glass or do you have shutters or some way to cover them? You should have one or the other. The important thing is that your windows need to be covered when a hurricane is coming because this is really interesting. It's not just because, oh, you don't want broken glass or you don't want rain to get in. It's because if you get a broken window in a hurricane and the wind actually gets in the house, that could amplify the structural damage. One of the most important things is your siding, okay? A lot of people have rotted old wood siding or they have that soft vinyl. Okay, you need something solid. I very strongly suggest a fiber cement siding because this stuff, it doesn't rot, it doesn't mold, it's uh, impact resistant, it's water repellent, it doesn't burn, okay? That's one of the best things you can do is reside your house with James Hardy, that's the best brand, use that that's basically like encasing your house in a coat of armor. So those are three important things that you could do. In Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, First Coast News, on your side.